Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 15th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about the output decorator and custom event binding. Okay, so in the last tutorial we passed data from the root component down the tree to the home component right here and we did that using a custom property binding and the input decorator. Now what we want to do is reverse that process. We want to pass data from the home component up the tree to its parent component, the root one, and we're going to do that using a custom event binding this time and also the output decorator. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to place a button on the home component view. A user is going to click that button and then that is going to fire off a custom event which we are going to make up ourselves. That event is going to fire off this listener in the root component. We're going to listen out for that custom event so that when it's emitted we can handle it right there. So we're going to pass data via this custom event from the home to the root component upwards through the tree. Okay, cool, so where do we need to start to do this? Well, we're gonna start in the app component view right here. This is the root component view. So what we're gonna do is attach our custom events to this directive right here, app home, because we're listening out for a custom event which is gonna be fired by the home component. So the way we normally do event binding is by doing parentheses like this and saying like click equals some kind of function which is defined on the root component itself, the class. Now we're not going to do a normal event binding, we're going to do a custom event binding. Uh, binding. So we want to make up a custom event which is going to fire this thing. So we'll call this custom event on yell. And we're going to set that equal to a yell function right there. And then what we're going to do is pass through the event information and we do that by saying dollar $event like so. Okay? Cool. So we'll press save now and we'll go to the root component class. And what we're gonna do is make that yell function and it's gonna take in that event information. Now right here, we can call it whatever we want. In the view itself, what we wanna do is call it dollar sign event, okay? So then we can access all this event information inside this function. Um, we're gonna take a look at that later. For now, what I'm gonna do is just alert I am yelling, cool. Okay, so we've set up everything on this component. We've got this yell function when, uh, which is gonna fire. When this thing happens, when this custom event is emitted within the home component, right? So we need to now go to the home component class right here. And remember in the last tutorial when we used this input decorator, that was because we wanted to say to Angular, look, this component is gonna grab some data from somewhere else, expect some data to be input to it. Now what we're gonna do is the opposite. We're gonna output some data. We're gonna output some data via a custom event to the parent component. So this time what we need to do is say at output, like so. And to use it, we're gonna to have to stick it up here in the import statement. So we'll say output. And then what we're gonna do is set this equal, or rather give it a name first of all, which is on yell, and then set this equal to a new event emitter, like so. And we're gonna to have to import that as well to use it, event emitter. And by the way, these can all be in one line because they're all being imported from the Angular core. If they were being imported from somewhere else, we'd separate them out onto a new line. Okay, cool. So the reason we've set this variable equal to a new event emitter is because then we can emit events. We can say on yell dot emit, and that is gonna emit our custom on yell event. And then this root component is gonna to listen to that custom event being fired and then it can set it equal to this function which is then gonna fire it in turn. Cool. So now what we need to do is save this and head over to our home component view and create a button and I'll say hit me and on this button we're gonna attach a normal click event and when this button is clicked what we're gonna do is fire yell event, okay? So let's pass through the event data through there as well. And I'm gonna explain all of this in a minute, but for now, I'm just gonna grab this function because when a user clicks this button, it's gonna look for this function on the home component right here. So let's create this event, uh, this function rather, and pass through the event there. Same again, we don't need to call it dollar sign event here, only in the view, okay? So let's save the view. And back in here, what we're gonna do is say this to refer to the class itself and then get the on yell and emit 
that event, okay? And we can pass the event through there as well, which is this thing here, the E. So what are we doing here? Well, first of all, in here we've got this button, rather in this one, the home view, we have this button which has a click event attached to it. When the user clicks that button, this function right here fires, fire yell event, and it passes through the event information via this event variable. So it's gonna look for this function on the home component class right here, which it finds. Then it fires that function. It says this dot on yell, which is this thing right here, dot emit. And because on yell is set equal to a new event emitter, it has this emit event. So we're emitting this on yell event. And remember, this is all happening in the home component. Now in the root component view, when the home component fires or emits this on yell event, the root component is listening for it on this app home directory. So when it happens, it fires the yell function on the home component and passes through that event data that it receives. So in this thing right here, where we have the yell event defined, it fires that function with the event data passed through again and does this little alert right now. So let's go here and press hit me and you'll notice I am yelling. So that's all worked, pretty cool. So what is this event information? Well, let's log some of this to the console. I'll say console.log and then E. And I'm gonna save that and come over here. I'm gonna refresh and I'm also gonna bring up the, uh, the console so that we can see it. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna press this, hit me, and it's gonna do that. And then it's also gonna fire this thing down here. It's gonna log this event to the console. And we can see it's a mouse event and all these different properties, where it happened on the screen, um, etc. And if you open up this object, you're gonna see all these different properties here that you can access on this event, okay? Such as the source element of where it was uh, clicked, etc. So now we have access to all that information about the event. So essentially, what we have done is pass data from this home component up to the root component and handled it there. And we've done that via a custom event binding and the output decorator. I'll see you in the next tutorial.